Everything come unraveled extremely quickly for Tasman after such a brilliant start to this season. In one week, it's all come crashing back down to reality. They lost the shield and they lost Marty Banks. Now they have to soldier on. The challenge is County's Manukau at Grower Stadium in this next round of the ITM Cup. Hello everyone and welcome along to Cornflakes Group, your home of Rugby Challenge 2 in the ITM Cup Series where we're following Tasman and Southland through their glory and, well, not so glory. Last week can definitely go on the not so good category for Tasman after stealing the shield, defending it for a couple of weeks and then come between the Marcos and the Stags, Southland and Tasman and what transpired was not good for the Marcos. It all went very bad very quickly. Not only did they lose the shield, but they also lost their star playmaker, but we'll get to them in a minute. First up, it is County's Manukau, who are right on the coattails of the two sides we're following. They sit sixth, which is directly behind both of these, well, both of Tasman and Southland. Their previous two matches, though, not good. Both losses going down 22-15 to Manawatu and 19-18. Boy, how bad is that? How close is that? They lost that match to Waikato. How agonizingly tight would that loss be? Counties have a great team and they have plenty of experience in that forward pack and they'll be looking. Once again, like always, Augustine Pulu and Baden Kerr, 9 and 10, that is their go-to combo. But look at this back line. Aki, Lilo, Halai, and of course the fullback Tuala, who we saw against Southland was a very, very accomplished player. And he'll be a key man from fullback for Counties. Well, there's been a bit of a shuffle up here for Tasman. Melnick has had to come from fullback to replace Marty Banks and the number 10 jumper at fly half. So that results in Scott coming into the squad. He starts at fullback replacing Melnick. And how they're going to recover from the loss of their real key man, their linchpin of their backline especially is going to be very interesting to see how it's going to affect them. Can they recover? Can they make do? And can they adjust to having Robbie Melnick in that number 10 jumper? It's all to play for Tasman. Their focuses have to be readjusted and they have to be squarely on County's Manukau. And it will be Scott that has the kicking duties after Marty Banks is really a really lack of depth in the kicking department for Tasman. So the Marcos coming up here. Grohl Stadium, ITM Cup underway. County's Manukau receiving. They are in the red and white hoops. It is the Marcos who are in the red and blue, the more solid of the two kits when it comes to colours. And an early turnover. Calvin finds the ball. Here's Manukau, a first receiver. How's that going to go? Hello, Nukunuka. Finds Kalama Tangi. James Lowe could be a great start. He's taken down. Great tackle to Ala. Like we mentioned at the start. Very accomplished. Here's Marshall. Squirts it over the top. Melnick. Well, there we go. Question answered. Four minutes into the match. Robbie Melnick opens up his first try of the game. The first for Tasman and the first for his season as well. What an outstanding try for the Marcos. It was a break initially from James Lowe, but look at the space in midfield there for Robbie Melnick. That is only going to do good things for this Marco side. The confidence that will be in that number 10 jumper will be huge. And that's exactly what they needed. Melnick opens up his first real shot at a try, and he's nailed it. And that gives this man, Scott, a chance to get his first points of the season off the tee. They'll be missing Banks, but how can they adjust without him? Not so bad so far. That's a converted try after just a couple of minutes. Then the Marcos are leading County's Manukau 7 0. The Steelers at home. That is County's Manukau. Bit of a fortress for them in previous years, but well, they need this win to keep them in touch with the top teams as Mounik goes wide for Matia. 
Just about got his offload away. He was looking for Bryce Heem. Here's Cowan. Gets it to Heem. And Heem's busting away. He's taken down. Good tackle to Allah. Identified the threat. And away comes Halai. Turning this ball back. In field he goes for Lilo. And eventually it's Hyde who takes it to ground. And away they come again. What a run here from the big second rower. He's going through tackle after tackle. Release. And Nabu eventually goes to ground on halfway. What a run out here from Kaunitz. As Pulu tries to go short side. He's rejected and driven backwards. And here's Halfalele finally firing it wide. Kaunitz has some definite talent. Oh, Halai gets smashed. And James Lowe picks up the ball. And the Marcos have it back. Cowan on the 10 meter line. Kevin Bunty all oh, intercepted. And now it's back for Counties. They look wide through Bundyaki. And he smashes us downfield. If Scott's got some brains, he'll let this run. And they do. Bryce Heen just about thought of picking it up, but Bundyaki overcooks it by a whisker. Crouch. And Tasman will take it near Crouch. on 60 meters. Back upfield. Set. <laughs> Well, both teams showing their keenness to swing this wide, use their backs, use the width. This worked for Tasman so far. As Cowan leaves it to Squire, and Squire puts on a big dominating run. Gets his team up to 10 meter line, and they've lost it again. And now Halai, back it goes for Aki. Doesn't kick this time, Pulu. Advantage. Swicks it round to Curran. It's advantage to Counties. And Curran slipped him out four tackles. Halai back and field to Manu. Advantage is over and he's Release. finally taken down. Good tackle finally coming in. Now Scott's involved in scrum half. He's way out as low. Low slips him. He's gone inside outside. He's looking for the corner. It's Tuala. Oh, he leaves Tuala for dust. And he's put it down. Great try. Super work from James Lowe. He was really trying to get his opposite wing of Bryce Heem involved. He was way off his left wing. He'd come out to the right hand side. He cut them in half. Straight through Halai. And there was Raymakers as well. Left him for dust. There's Nabu trying to hang on. But he just couldn't find Heem. In the end didn't need him. He was going for the corner. Decided against it. Sharp step back. Left to Allah for dust. And scores another try for Tasman. He's been a quality player for them. He's been a real go-to man as well. He is a quality finisher. And Tasman lead by 12. Kick to come from Scott. Here's a shot. This one's a bit more harder, but he's got a nice lead. Difficulty level slightly increased with that kick, but no worries for Scott. He adds the extras, and it's 14-0 Tasman over Counties. Steelers trailing now by 14. They've got the talent. They need to apply some ball pressure here. It's down it goes to Marshall. Oh, what a beautiful pass from Marshall. Kelwin looks for low, but it's been picked up from Halai. And Halai is taken high from low. And it will give Counties the penalty. Now what can the Steelers do from here? 14 behind. Do you take the three? Yes, they do. Not a bad option. It's still early in the match. And this penalty will just give them that point of difference. If they can get it, of course. It's Tuala lining it up. We've seen against the Stags how good of a goal kicker he was. And that just reaffirms that message. Tuala gets the three. It's 14-3. The lead is now 11 for Tasman. Interesting observation. Fullbacks doing the kicking for both teams tonight. Scott and Tuala as we're back underway. Scott kicking deep down to the left side. And it's picked up from Lilo. He tried to run it through. Gives it to Halai. And Halai is hammered. This time legally straight into touch. Well, this is a great opportunity here for Tasman. The Marcos will want some quick ball to use their backs. And it comes nicely at the front. Cowan fires it wide for Squire. 
Oh, big hit from Squire, look at that! Speed and curves rolling in over end! Huge shot on Curve from Squire. That'll give him nightmares. Cowan, quick pass, finds Marshall. Marshall going himself, giving it to Heem. Heem up against the fullback, Tuala. Does a great job once again. Boy, he's been fantastic, his Tuala. Cowan decides to pass to Squire. This time he'll get all the way to the try line. And Liam Squire, after dominating that run, has got himself a try. 19-3. A bit more pressure now goes on the Steelers. But we've seen this. This is a second run from Liam Squire. The first one is where he absolutely bulldozed over Baden Kerr. This time he just carried Talfalele with him and put him over the line as well. Great ball from Kavabati. Why, Squire just straightens it up. Get out of my way. Big number eight, skillful number eight. Real ball runner. He's got himself a try. Tasman are looking fantastic here, despite not having banks. And I guess you could call this a bit of a backlash against losing the shield. Here's Scott. Third shot, right in front. Half time goes as 21 3. And he'll head to the sheds for the break. Tasman will look good. They've used their key men. In the absence of Banks, the likes of Lowe, Fonatea, Heem, Marshall, especially Marshall. He is a key man at inside centre for them. 21-3. That's the scoreline. Three tries to a penalty. And Tasman, well... You could say by the stats, they should be leading by that scoreline. 68% of position, 76 territory, and just two handling errors have kept them a lot of ball retention. And they've looked pretty good when they've had it in hand as well. Can counties find a way back? They need three scoring plays as well in the second half. Well, their season could be looking a bit more dismal after this match. It is 21 to 3. The Marcos leading the Steelers. Here at Grower Stadium, and let's get on back down to the second half between these two sides of the ITM Cup. Tuala for Counties, the fullback. Has had a good match. Strong in defence. As he kicks back off, we're underway. Second 40 minutes here, and Jimmy Cowan takes the kick off and finds Fredericks, who spotted quite a bit of a gap. The big hooker goes straight through. Got caught behind, and he's lost the ball. Oh, look at this from Cowan. He has stolen that. Straight out of the hands of Baden Kerr, but it's gone away. And it's for Tony Pulu. Wow, how did he get that? It was a shocking pass from Cowan and missed the tackle. And Pulu's picked that up, but it's gone straight back to Tasman. And Melnick, oh, he had to be quick there to get that kick away. It's a good one, and it's in touch. Well, Tuala, a bit of a mistake there. He jumped for the ball and he's landed right on the paint. Which has resulted in this, a line-out for Tasman. Great result for the Marcos. The Steelers need to watch their feet here as it goes down to Cowan. Malnick crushes. Oh, he's lost the ball. And it's picked up from Counties. And Halai finds it wide. Here's a good run for Taufua. Back and field. It's Halai. Halai for the corner. No, he won't need to. He goes through the middle. Through the heart. Gets rid of Scott. And puts that down. It's 21-8. Conversion to come. But Freaky Halai. How good is this try? He made the initial bust. Found time Taufua. Who was well, very adept. At ball running, we know how good Tau 4 can be. Star for the Crusaders. But this was brilliant. Once Halai got this ball back, he put the speed on. Scott come across. Made the attempt to tackle as well, which is good work from the fullback to get to that position. But Halai was just too silky smooth. And he scores the first try for Counties. The Steelers... Trying to find a way back. Tuala needs his kick. I thought Tuala might have messed it up when he put a foot in touch. The real chance for Counties. Thought it might have gone begging at that state, but they pulled it back. Cowan's intercept. 
was thrown straight to Tony Pulu. And from there, hell I happened. Former All Black, of course. Here's Scott, resuming the match here. It goes long. Right hand side of the field for the Marcos. And a good take, too, from the Steelers. Right. On their own 22. Here's Pulu. Oh, bad call from Pulu. He's gone straight into the defense. Now they look to the right. Short passes between the forwards. Finally, it goes to Aki. Oh, brilliant offloads here. Manu's finding it in field. And it's with Nabu going through tackle after tackle. Manu again. Now they've gone back to some backs. And it's Halai who can't get away. Lo makes a tackle. And then he makes a steal. Malnick back to Christie. Big pass. Marshall. Marshall around the outside. Can't get it to Heem. Heem's busting. Back and field for Marshall. Holds it up for Fonatea. And Fonatea takes Release. a tackle. Oh, but counties have numbers to the ball. And they've given it away again. And so they spin it wide. Again, it's low on Halai. And once again, it's low who makes a tackle. Short side play for Raymakers. Doesn't Release. get too far. Tasman competing for the ball. But it still comes back here for Aki. Gives it to Kerr. Oh, and Kerr just about got to do anything with it. Tasman competing on the 22. Why don't Counties kick it away? Fonatea takes a tackle. Gives it to Malnick. Heems behind. Oh, Heems just pushed into touch. Great tackle from Bundy Aki. Just did enough to get him into the paint. And that was enough to put him away. Now Taufalili, oh, he's just got that over the head of Wheeler. And now they come wide. Aki, big pass. Again, it's Halai. He's the money man. Oh, massive shot on Lilo. He gets hammered just short of the touchline. Just over the 22 as well. Look at this contested ball. Now it comes back. Where's it gone? Kellen has gone halfway to the other side of the field. Hello, Nuka Nuka finds Fredericks. Kaloma Tangi now Marshall. Marshall's in behind. Bain and Kerr comes across. Heen makes an attempt to at tackle. Kevin Barty comes across. Oh, he's thrown it to the wrong player. It's advantage Tasman as Melnick takes the tackle. And it's turned over from Pulu. Augustine Pulu. Probably should have left it on the ground. There's Tony Pulu throwing it forward. Yeah, though, well, that was the initial penalty. Crouch. Touch. So it's a Six. scrum feed for the Marcos. Just inside the 22 of the Steelers. Oh, look at that shove. That's beautiful stuff. Squire. Looks left for Fonatea. Oh, puts a fan on Fonatea. He's created some massive space. Oh, but he throws it straight to Halai. And Baden Kerr. Oh, and cover Bate with a huge high shot. And he's going to get punished for it as well. It's going to be time in the bin. There it is, yellow card. That was a nasty tackle. Fair call by the ref. Don't get to see a replay, but Tasman probably should have been scoring down from that play. County's going for a bit of a run. Tuala finds some support down the middle of the park. And here's a good run from Bundy Aki. He's got a two. Tony Pulu. Back in field he goes. His numbers are to the right. And it's there with Halai. Once again, it's Halai on low. Low makes a tackle. Goes high. Takes him down slowly. And on the 22, Tasman survive another attack. Pulu goes short. And finds it for high at all. That's another high tackle. This time it's Perry. Will we see that again? No, we won't. Didn't quite catch who that was on. But no punishment. Tuala will tap it again. He shimmies left and right. Oh, Perry. Massive shot and a turnover. Beautiful work from the prop. Release. Tasman are going to lose this ball straight away, though. Full time goes. Points are in the bank here for the Marcos. They've bounced back brilliantly from the loss last week. As they go short side, tell four, a good run. Oh, Kaloma Tangi turns him over. Hello, Nuka Nuka, Fonatea. Looks to offload, the ball doesn't come away. And oh, Counties, get it straight back. Pulu, he's got no chance there. Massive numbers on defense. And here they come again through Hyatt. He's gone to ground. 
Still inside the Tasman 22. 21 10 is the score. Cowan, he doesn't want to get rid of it. Fonatia pops it up for low. Low plays the numbers. Finds Marshall. Marshall's going to kick upfield. The chase is coming from the Marcos. It's going to bounce into County's 22. Back there is our key. Dummies before giving it second time to Tuala. Now it's with the big hooker. And Tafalili finally goes Release. way backwards towards his own posts. Here's Pulu. Gives it back to Tuala. Fires a massive pass. Finally Wheeler takes it down. And Tasman are all over this ball but they can't get it. Short Tuala again. Oh it's hit the post. And it's gone dead and goal. And that should finish it. Tuala probably had a minor heart attack there when he heard that pole hit. But there it is. Full time counties try as they may. Not good enough for Tasman today. 21 to 10, the final score. Once counties got going, this match was a real tight contest. But it was Tasman who took advantage of a sleeping Steelers team. In the first 40, that finished this match off enough. 21 to 10, it was a tight second half. But Tasman did the work in the first, got the score on the board. And 21 to 10, it ends. County's Manukau, the Steelers, 10 points coming from Frank Halai. How good was Frank Halai today? Numerous breaks, big busts, offloads of plenty, and a try to boot. He was sensational. He was easily... The best Steelers player on the park tonight. Tuala, not far behind. The fullback did a good amount of work. His kicking was good. And his defence, well, Tasman would have scored a few more tries if Tuala wasn't in that number 15 jumper. He got a conversion and a penalty to round them up to 10 points. As for Tasman, no bonus point today. You would have thought they would have three tries with pretty much the whole second half to go. That is all they managed, though. Squire, Malnick and low with one apiece and it was Scott the new man into the 15 getting the job done with the boot three from three from the kicking tee well she definitely leveled up in the, the second half 52 percent of position was all Tasman managed overall territory they did a bit better though 69 percent the yellow card for cover party not helping the cause at all but in the end three penalties as well the win was in the bag. Counties actually managed more line breaks than Tasman, which is a huge stat that did not help them. Eight line breaks, yet they just managed one try. How good's Tasman's defence this season as well? Marcos made seven line breaks as well as 11 handling errors. But they still got the win. They've bounced back nicely. In the absence of Banks, they have scored a great victory here over the Steelers. Counties Manukau going down 21-10 to the Tasman Marcos. So following that match for Tasman, 21-10 over County's Manukau. A couple more have been played out from round six, and that is Canterbury with a 34-13 win over Bayer Plenty. Well, that's a bit of a top of table clash. Both those teams were inside the top four. The other match was Wellington, 22-18, a close one over the Turbos. Manawatu going down. The next match is a bit of a... Um, bit of a crunch match here, it's the North versus South, it's Northland versus Southland and the Tanifa up against the Stags that's going to be a classic Northland not having the best of season so far that is the one down point for this match, we can have a look at the table now, following that match and it is Tasman who have moved up to third place following Bay of Plenty's loss, they have leapfrogged them into third spot, five wins one loss 20 points on the board. Still yet to get a bonus point though. Just one try away from registering bonus point number one that they were in their last match against Counties. As for Counties, for those interested, they have stayed down on 12 points and they slipped down to 7th place. Southland who have the next match against Northland. There we go. Their 5th are the Stags with the Shield. 15 points for them. Northland down the bottom. 5 losses from 5 matches. 1 bonus point. They are well, the worst of the bunch at the moment in 14th spot. And that is what we have to look forward to for our second match of round six. Southland versus Northland. Northland, the home team. Northland Event Centre is where this one will be played out for round six of the ITM Cup. Thank you all for watching. Hope you're enjoying the series. 
and I'll see you all next time for more ITM Cup action. Until then, take care.